Hi everyone, I'm Merrill Hodge. I'm sitting in my favorite chair doing my favorite thing, watching tape. Well, we're going to focus on Devin Bush. We're going to watch how he performed his rookie year. He did a lot of awesome things. And there were some things where he had a lot of hesitation, which is not to be unexpected. Um, I'll tell you a quick player that had a really rough rookie year, Troy Polamalu, especially in the passing game. And the reason these guys struggle in the passing game is the shifts, the motions, the efficiency that the offenses play in the National Football League, they've never seen anything like it. So it's very common to see hesitation in the passing game. Troy Polamalu had a lot of that in his rookie year, and then his next year, you never saw it again. And he's a bona fide Hall of Famer. So um, just because they struggle their rookie year um, does not mean it's going to be like that going forward. But I'm gonna show you a few plays and why there's hesitation and why it's overwhelming to a lot of these young players in the passing game. So let's look at Seattle right here. You know, the first thing is the motion, and then they they bunch. You know, there's three people over here. They've just motioned. And if you're thinking what Devin Bush is doing, he's trying to identify where his responsibility is. Now, ultimately, his responsibility ends up being this tight end. And keep in mind, we're slowing this down so that we can absorb it and explain it. But he's got to, he's really got to look at all three of these players and identify who is going to be his guy that releases inside. He's got the first wide receiver to the inside. Well, the wide receiver's already motioned across. They've moved back. They've done this in efficient fashion. And so his responsibility is to locate that guy. Now, it's easy as we're sitting here talking about that. As we've paused it here, they don't have a pause button when they're playing, so they've got to respond quickly and immediately. And you can tell just where his eyes are right now, he's really not fixated on where he needs to be. He needs to be looking at the tight end, the wide receiver or the back to identify who's going to be the first person that pops up that he's responsible for. Well, when they snap the ball, you can see the tight end. I mean, he's already exploding. He's already at the same level of Devin. Now, once that happens, really advantage offense, they've got you in a bad situation from a defensive perspective. And what they end up doing is making the perfect throw, the tight end one right off the bat from the snap. And because he hesitated a little bit, you know, you give up a touchdown. Um, those things were pretty common throughout the year. Do I expect him to change? Absolutely. Um, he's going to see these things quicker. You see just how he moves over into the formation. He's probably really not sure of what's going on. He may even be thinking run right now too. So you gotta anticipate that. And then when they snap the ball, I mean, it's too late. I mean, that's just how quick the NFL is, how fast. Now here's another example. Now you, you got motions and you got formations. You end up having two to your side and he's responsible for the inside guy, but when you're looking at what he's supposed to look at, he, he does have to think this back could be responsible, but the tight end does release inside first, so he's really responsible for him. But he's trying to filter all of that out because he hasn't seen this a lot in college. You know, it's not clear to him. So there's just a moment of hesitation again, and he's delayed, and another completion in, in the passing game. All of these things, I clearly believe he's gonna get better at. Um, it's just an example of the transition from college to the NFL. Now let's take a look at some of the things he did really well and he's going to build on. And that makes him a very unique, a unique player. Um, he's extremely dynamic and he's explosive. And even though in this play he doesn't get blocked, I want you to see how quickly he reacts. And this is what I expect actually, quite honestly even in the passing game in the areas that he struggled with. But when you watch him and his ability to attack the line of scrimmage, I mean, he does it so fast they can't come off. And then I love his ability to tackle, um, the way he strikes, especially a quarterback. It's not up around the head and neck area, it's in the right target area and he finishes right. Um, that's what you want from a defender, especially that they're gonna be able to utilize getting after the quarterback and blitzing because you know, when you see how fast he hits this, you know, what you're asking offensive linemen to do is you're asking them to come off. So ultimately what the Cincinnati Bengals want to do here in a perfect world is both of these offensive linemen right here, both these guys that are here blocking, 
Well, one of those guys has to come off on Devin Bush, but because he hits it so fast and he's so dynamic and explosive, it just doesn't happen. You know, moment of hesitation, that's what you're trying to create in football on both sides of the ball, quite honestly, and he does that uh, to you. Now let's take another look at a play that I think really illustrates how complete he is from identifying to reacting to finishing and to do it with an explosive fashion. This play right here, screenplay, is how I expect Devin Bush to eventually play on every down as he gets more experience. But with the back here, you know, they're gonna just bring their back over here. Uh, they're going to run a screen over here. So Devin Bush identifying that and getting through, getting getting there through all this traffic. I am telling you this right now. This is actually extremely impressive. Just identifying that, and you can see he hesitates for a second, but he's filtering things out, and then he gets there and he finishes. And I go back to his ability to tackle and finish. That's so important. Guys get there, but they don't finish all the time. So you just see where he is here. Let's kind of get into 55's jersey, if you will, and play like an inside linebacker. Things that he's looking at. If we walk through it, when we snap the ball, now this could look like run right away. You know, as you got to realize what he's got to be looking at and filtering through. And he gets through that process. That's why he hesitates for a second, but now he explodes through it. So this to me is just awesome football. Now, when you watched Devin throughout the year, the reason that he struggles in the passing game is because all of this is really new to him. Even the zone coverages the Steelers play probably didn't play like that in Michigan. And so understanding your area of responsibility is a learning curve for young players. So this is a great example. And keep in mind, Devin Bush is going to be studying this exact same tape. He's gonna study himself and how do I get better? Now with Devin right here, you know, this is a zone concept. So really, he needs to stay in that area. That's his responsibility. You know, to wander over here, there's no need for that. You already got somebody who is here. You're responsible for really the area that you're standing in right now and as anybody comes in that area. Well, that becomes really important here and it's evident that if you get out of position in zone coverage, it hurts your team. And Sometimes he gets ahead of himself. He got out of a position, even in zone concepts, um, that I don't expect to happen next year. But that's part of the learning curve, you know, learning and trusting, you know, the type of zone coverage you're in, um, what you see as far as what they're doing offensively, trusting that. And these are examples of learning curves. He'll be watching it. You see how he jumped out of position there, and he's in good position. He'd make that tackle right there because we go back to the kind of player he is. He's an outstanding tackler. Now this one right here, this I wanted to show you because it really shows his unique range. And not every linebacker in football has this. This is what will make him ultimately stand out and make massive plays. Now this run, this run is gonna be off to the right and the Patriots actually run it really well and they block it well. But this potentially is a touchdown, keep in mind. And I just want you to watch Devin, who really comes from all the way over here and tracks this down, I just want you to watch how fast he does it. You know, the speed that he does it with. You know, it doesn't get cut there, he avoids that, and then another great job of tackling. And I, I keep saying that, it stands out. You gotta be a good tackler. Too many people try to hit in this league, and this is a tackling league if you wanna be great, but just look at that. And his ability to finish, you know, you translate all the things that he did well, you look at the things that he struggled with, those things are gonna get better. I referred to Troy Palomalo earlier in the year. I remember watching Troy Palomalo's rookie year. It was a Kansas City game actually, specifically, that you could tell he was really struggling, identifying all the different formations, motions, shifts that people do in the NFL. And he was hesitating a lot and hurting the defense. Well, the next year, none of that existed because he self-evaluated, he got better, and the rest is history. That's what I expect with Devin Bush. I think you're going to get the exact same thing. The awesome plays we've seen him make, that's going to be permeated through his entire game come next year.